Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Rebel Galaxy. We're on episode 5, and... Duh. Apparently, we're forced into this. So, whenever I have to escape, guys, or I quit for the day, or whatever the case is, it makes me come out of wherever I'm at before I can actually exit. So, it spit me back out outside the, um... The station where we just met with that one alien that told us to go back to this dude. So if you're wondering what happened, like, hey, you weren't inside where the bartender was and all that, that's what happened. And then as soon as I came back into the game from that, I decided I was going to try to get back into the thing so there was no continuity issues. And unfortunately, that's not the case. So he decided to hail us and there was no way to get back in. So that's where we're at, guys. That is where we are. So... How did things go with Sandar? A bit of a slippery character, eh? No hard information yet. I feel like I need a bath. Yes, well, you have to get used to that if you're planning on staying around this sector. That's not why I contacted you, however. Have you got some new information for me? Alright, let's see. It's the Spectre I handed you. It so happens that I've thought of someone who might be able to give you some more information. A bit of a researcher, I suppose you'd say. A uh, researcher? Like Sandar is a businessman? Well, on the boche, Rando Santra, Las Laibotun, Anadish, Rando B. Well, let's not quibble over titles. He's eccentric. Let's leave it at that. At any rate, I'm sending the coordinates of the station where he keeps his lab. All right, I'll check it out. Do you take care of yourself, too? I don't know. I didn't actually hear what he said. All right, so it kind of forced me into this whole scenario. Uh, well, how close is that? That is very, very, very not close. However... We are going to turn around. Engines at maximum. Turn our engines up to maximum, and we're going to head back on over to the transponder. No, we're not going to go to the transponder coordinates. We're going to go to the dead drop area right there. And any second now, we should be able to take off and go. Unfortunately, folks, I had to mute the music. Apparently, uh, they decided to give me a copyright thing that blipped on my last. Uh, on my last video, so I said, you know what? I'll just let that go. Whatever, I don't care. I contested it, and it's going to be fine, guys. It's not a big deal, but it's just, it's silly. I don't know how, um, why the musicians that do the work for the game developers decide to, I don't know, use ad rev or whatever it is that they use to, well, basically ruin Let's Players' days. That's pretty much the only thing that it actually does. So, there you have it, folks. So, no more music. It's, well, it is what it is, right? So, let's head on over to the dead drop, and once we're there, we shall hopefully have a sizable chunk of cash, and we can probably grab up some more missions, I guess? We'll say yes. We'll say yes, we can. Oh, oh my gosh, I was so terrified, I thought for sure we were going to crash into it. It wasn't stopping very quick, but it did it just in time. Alright, so we got another 3,332 credits, and... I don't know if anyone's actually responded. I can't recall anybody saying I should go for the Corvette or the Frigate. So I'm going to go toward the Corvette, guys. That's going to be the play. I'm going to ignore the Mastodon, and we're going to go directly into the, like, the Sari or whatever it was. What was it? The, uh, huh, it's different. They don't have the same thing here that they did at the other place. Well, that's interesting. So they had something different at that place we were just at. Hmm. That is rather intriguing. And it was like 96. Well. I think I'm still going to save up about 100,000 before I do anything. And we'll see how that works out. Let's go check the commodities yard. Or market. Market. Commodities market. And see what's going on. Alright. We have a few different things. And nothing's really selling for high here. Which is pretty crappy, by the way. I'm not really great at the whole commodities market type thing, unfortunately. It's not one of my strong points. Alright, let's check out the emission board. Uh, another dead drop. Uh, another double jack. I mean, it's low. Uh, double jack. 
Minor protection. We're going to do that one, I think. And then what is this? Red Devil Cartel is not going to be super happy with us. It's going to be a high risk, high reward thing. I think we can do that. Let's do that one. Alright, so we're going to roll out with those two missions. Uh, the shipyard shows that we are not injured or wounded in any way. I suppose we could visit the bar if we really wanted to, but eh, we're going to leave the bar. Alright, I don't know how many uh, mercenaries we can actually have like attuned to us or following us, but I assume there's a limit. I don't know if it's just one or if there's like 30 of them that we can have or what the deal is. Alright, let's take a look around and see what is out and about. There's the the big one, so let's go do that one first. Engines at maximum. We'll get our engines at maximum. We will go into shop light and we will uh, do things eventually. There we go. We can engage into warp and it's actually not that far off. So let's hope for the best here, folks. We're going to be slightly off because I don't want to crash into that planet at first, so we'll try to crash into the planet later on down the road. Alright, got to fidget a little bit there. That's okay. We are looking pretty good. And I, I'm eager. I'm excited. Let's do some more murder. Let's do some more combat, guys. That's what it's all about. I don't care. You can be all distressed all you want. Don't give a crap. Alright, let's get moving. Alright, well, I guess we are technically moving. Let's sit here and wait. Let's hurry up and wait, guys. Let's hurry up and wait. Do, 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 do. Alright, well, we're discovering a bunch of stuff. I mean, we're getting very, 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 very small amounts of credits coming our way. But at least it's something, right? Alright, we're starting to, well, kind of close the gap here a little bit. Stress beacon again. I don't care. And we're about, what, 500 clicks out or 500 smee away? And once we get there, I'm hoping that we're actually powerful enough to do battle and win, but we could very possibly just get crushed. So there is that. Oh, we're going into an ice field. We usually do. Alright, well, let's get to moving, folks. Oh, gosh. We're kind of getting wrecked quite badly. Alright, well, we're going to have to do quite a few things here. Alright, we need to help out. Okay, there are other folks there, so we're not just going to be going in by ourselves, which is nice. Alright, I'm going to lock onto you. I'm going to deflect that missile. And there does seem to be quite a few things that are, oh gosh, angrily coming after me. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna fire on you then. Alright. Yeah, I, I know the feeling, buddy. I know the feeling. This might be uh, a bit out of our. A bit out of our. Uh, our range here. Alright, we're gonna fly at you. We're gonna go. We're gonna go broadsides here against you. No, oh, maybe not. No, we're not gonna go broadsides against you. We're just gonna keep shooting at you. Oh, that's unpleasant. All right. Oh, you're still hitting the same side. Come on. Oh, our forward shields are down. Oh my goodness. This is pretty brutal, guys. I'm not gonna lie. We're just getting absolutely de decimated right now. Alright. Guess we're gonna have to fire on them again. Please help me. Thank you, Garrus. I think we might just have to run away. I don't think we can actually win this fight right now. This is uh, definitely going off the rails a little bit here. Alright, we're going to get back over this way and we're going to see if we can't take out a few of these guys. As like I said, as it stands right now, it's not looking super great. Also, I'm I'm looking at it looks like the militia didn't really survive. So we're going to at least see if we can't take out a couple of guys before we're done ourselves. this is a real mess. Are you hanging in there, Garrus? You hanging in there, buddy? There are so many little squadrons of enemies right now, it's a little bit ridiculous. Alright, we're going to try to take out the bomber. 
I don't know that we can actually do that. Oh, jeez. Well, we're not really doing a whole lot of damage, guys. That's the uh, unfortunate reality that we're faced with right here. Alright, well, we killed off another one. Again, I feel, I feel as though we're still a little outpaced here. I feel like we probably can't win this one, but maybe. I mean, Garrus is hanging in there, man. He's still fighting, so... There is that. Alright. Let's take a look. Oh, we're getting shot again. We are just, like, swimming in nasty enemies here that want to kill us. But it's okay. We're going to continue to fire and fight and dodge and hope that our deflector shields can ah, hold the line. Mess. It looks like we're about to get through that bomber. Excellent. Oh, there's a cutthroat. Uh... It's like we, we slightly outpaced them there. Yeah, I know. Our shields are just getting destroyed pretty badly. Alright, well, we managed to maneuver a little bit there. Ah! It does not appear that we can actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, the weapons that they have on their um, hammerheads. They seem to be so much superior to us. It's like night and day right now. However, we should be able to take out quite a few of their little uh, baby sh baby ships. Baby shuttles, I guess is what I was going to say. I don't know. It's looking a little bit suspect. Our power core is mildly damaged. What, our hull is breached? Alright, boys. I think it may be time for us to go over this way. Because again, I feel as though we probably can't take it all out. Well, we've done some work. And Garrus is still a boss. I mean, look at him. He is just going to town on these guys. But again, but at, at what weird, weird, horrible cost. I mean, we've taken quite a bit of damage. We've also dealt quite a bit of damage. And we killed off all their little baby ships. Or at least most of them. Again, I'm not sure if we can handle the two uh, capital ships that they have. Oh gosh, we're going right into two of them. This is not a good play. I mean, maybe, maybe with broadsides we can do something here. Come on, get some broadsides going. There we go. We're gonna, we're gonna try to outmaneuver this guy, and by outmaneuver, I basically just mean out tank. Let's see if we can't actually take him out completely. All right, how about? How about we just? It didn't work. We didn't do anything to them. That's a bit rough. I mean, we're doing a little bit of chip damage, but it's not nearly enough. All right, well, we're going to continue on over here. We're going to go after their Harriers, I guess, at this point. Oh, the beams are just tearing us to pieces. All right. We're going to go back into their fighters. I mean, that's going to be our best play. Cause it's the only thing we can really kill. I don't know if we get credit for each and everything that we're dropping, but I figured if we can save uh, these things from being all over Garrus, maybe, maybe we'll be okay. All right, got him locked on again. Okay, there's another one down. Uh, it says threat level orange. I don't know if I agree with that. I feel like the threat level's a little bit higher than orange. But who am I to judge? Who am I to George? Uh, to George? To judge? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Apparently, I'm losing my mind here, guys. It's okay. Who am I to George? It's a, it's a new saying, folks. There's no collision. There's tons of warning, though. All right, well, at least we've outpaced one of the ships. And all we got to do now is actually lock ourselves in on this guy. Avoid a little bit of the beam damage. I mean, we're still torn. We're still getting torn to shreds. But I feel like we're, we're actually starting to come out a little bit further ahead. There should only be one ship left. Yeah, one little fighter left. Once we take that down, hopefully Garrus will actually focus on our target. Oh, 
Ooh, that's not good. Come on, man, take this thing out. Our power core is now moderately damaged. That doesn't seem like a great play. Alright. Oh my gosh, we're just getting torn to pieces. Okay, well, I think it's time for us to take a look, George aside and everything else. We need to take a look at our, our ship, because we kind of got beat down pretty bad. We're still doing okay overall. That's not too, too bad. I mean, Alpha turret control is a little banged up. But we're still holding. We're still kind of holding. I mean, I can live with this. Alright. We have a little bit of distance from the capital ships now. Hopefully we can take down, like I said, the last yeah, remaining fighters. Easy. And then with Garrus focused on them, and by George and all that wonderful fun stuff, we should be okay. Okay. Now all we gotta do is stay on this guy. We need to get to his, his right side, though. If we can stay on his right side, we'll be okay. Broadsides. Come on, come on, broadsides. Where are they? Port shields down. Systems heavily damaged. Port shields down. Port shields down. Okay, apparently our port shields are down. And that's probably not great. Oh, we're getting through it! Do we have enough to actually finish it? Come on, buddy. Port shields down. Weather and Just fire. Just fire. Just fire. Alright, get away. Pull away, it's not enough. Garrus! Stay on him! Is there still oh there is still a guy left. Okay. Target locked. Alright, if we can just take that guy out, maybe we'll be able to do it, because Garrus seems to be Distracted. Oh gosh. Oh, and it looks like uh, they may have their friend back. All right, we need to get moving because if we don't get out of here soon, we're gonna be done, skis. We need to get moving. We need to get moving now. Our deflectors are depleted, and we are officially dead, folks. That's not great. Okay, so apparently when you die, nothing really bad happens. You reload from a previous save, and that's where you're at. So we're back at Rust City, and I'm not sure exactly what happens. I knew there's there's always a risk when you play up against really, really nasty odds, whether you're going to get crushed or not. Um, let's see, what missions do we have available? Available missions. Do we keep any of our old missions? Oh, we did. Huh. Well, that's kind of weird. Well, it's, it's okay, I guess. Alright, well, we're going to go with available missions again. We're going to grab maybe this one. And I suppose we can grab this one as well. I don't think we're going to go for another super crazy one again. For a little while, guys, I, I bit off a bit more than I can chew. Me and George both. So let's get out of here and see what we can actually handle here. Is that still the same Ready when you are. The same ridiculously silly thing? Also, we still kept our guy, which is amazing. Well, like, how he didn't die and how he didn't do more seems a bit, I don't know, suspect, I guess you could say. Alright, well, the Militia Aid, definitely not the one we want to go for right now. Um, taking a look around. What is that? Is that the stupid um, transponder coordinates? I don't know why that's still there. I'm assuming that I had to do something there and I just didn't because I'm... I'm a fool. What is over there? Alright, let's get the ship Engine moving so we can one. pass this place. Because I feel like there's stuff over there, but I can't see it. Alright, there's a mission over there, 22 something out. We can probably do both of these. Alright, we're going to go give this a shot, guys. And hopefully this works out. I'm probably going to go a little bit longer than normal in this particular episode. Simply because, well, we failed so epically. It was close, guys. It was really close, but we were already so banged up by that point we couldn't quite do it. So, as a rule of thumb, guys, or a, a, a certain school of thought, I would say it's probably better to kill off all the surrounding enemies unless you can immediately burst down one of the capital ships. 
If you can, I would say kill off all the little babies that you can and then focus on them because that way you're not getting picked away, you're not having your shields hit from multiple angles by a bunch of little little things. And then once you take out the little ships, you focus heavily, hopefully on whichever guy Garrus is chasing down at that point. And you can roll out with it and get it done. Unfortunately, their weapons were far, far, far superior to ours. So there wasn't a whole massive ton I think I could have done differently or better. Uh, other than maybe just not got so damaged or take so long to actually take that stuff out. That would probably be my, my biggest thing. Alright, we are inhibited. And oh, this looks far more menacing than I originally thought this was going to be. Alright, well, we're going to get a, a bit closer here. And it begins. Well, we're going to start laying into these guys, I suppose. Really? Really? Where are these missiles inbound from? I would love to know. Ah, there it is. Hello. Okay, well, we got hit by a couple of missiles there. Oh, look at that dude. He's like right up on me. You see that? I wonder where he ended up going. It still seems to be pretty darn close. There we go. Alright, we're gonna take this guy down. It looks like it's mostly just fighters. Alright, managed to get my deflector up just in time there. Alright, there's clearly something larger coming my way right now. Look at that, I shot the missile out of the sky. Alright. Oh no, it's just the same. Same little baby ship. Alright, we'll do it that way. And finally, the bomber. Just gotta take him down and that's it. Mission complete. Okay, so not too big of a deal. We took care of that pretty easily. That's why you guys should really pay attention to the risk versus reward. And again, it was... Sometimes you can still squirm it out. Obviously, I am I am by no means an expert at this game. What? What's what's happening right now? Accelerating to Ooh, what is, what is? Uh oh. Maybe we can warp out. Oh, I guess not. All right. Oh gosh. What? Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. I mean, it looks cool. We're we're gonna crash into a meteor or uh, sorry, an asteroid. I think. I think we're gonna maybe try playing around with it, but we're not gonna commit super hard for it. Because I think that's gonna be really bad. Come on, kill him. Kill him a lot. Kill him with shooting powers and fire and things. There we go. Alright, there's a Lancer over here. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna take him on. So you notice that our guns not super impressive or super inf uh, super infective. They're probably not super infective either, but they're not super effective. I guess is really what I should have been saying and what I meant to be saying. But again, guys, we have George to fall back on, right? So there is that. If you guys didn't under if you don't understand that, it's it's the whole George uh, factor, guys. It's the whole George factor. No, it was a uh, I misspoke. I don't remember what I wanted to say engage or something and I said in George I'm like wait a minute what I have no idea I guess it was pretty funny though it made me laugh oftentimes accidental awesome is the best kind of awesome all right that is a that is a pirate frigate that is not a very happy pirate frigate all right we're gonna get after this I, I mean it'd be pretty cool if we could take that thing down I'm still doubting that we can but I don't know it's possible I suppose all right. Well, I don't want to go after you just yet, so I'm gonna try to get away from you a bit. And there we are. That's what I wanted to find. Get over here. Take you down. A little bit more. A little bit more. Rift Jacker is out. All right, Garrison, you hanging in there, buddy. We got one ship left. Do we have enough power between the two of us to take it down? I think we may. Oh no, it looks like we can take out the beam turret as well. Which is going to be pretty stellar. Come on, take out that beam turret. If that thing gets knocked out, we're going to be looking really good. Because that's going to be the big thing that's going to hurt us. 
All right, we're gonna go broadsides. Oh gosh, he's gonna ram us. Oh, oh, that could have been bad. Oh, that could have been really, really bad. All right, we're gonna turn into him. And I don't really see a lot of assistance coming from Garrus right now. Garrus is just like, whatever, dude. I don't, I don't even really care. Just do whatever you got to do, man. Just do whatever you got to do. Oh, we're, we're burning through it. We're burning through. We got through his armor plating, and we should actually be doing damage to him now. We're just trying to... We're trying to wiggle back and forth right now. Vendo preserve us! So what we're trying to do right now is actually wiggle back and forth so our uh, shields absorb all the damage from different areas. Oh gosh. Okay, well apparently this is not a good idea. We just kind of got beat down a little bit. Where's Garrus, dude? Garrus, get in there and do things, man. So basically we were trying to take the shots on all the different shields all at the same time. Alright, Garrus, you seem to have done some work there, buddy. Oh man, you've got to be able to do this. Hang in there, Garrus. He's got his deflector shield up. And that's down now. Alright, we're going to stay on him. Right on his rear. Now we're going to start actually getting some damage on him. Oh, we're hitting his, uh, his side now. So we're going to try to absorb a little bit of this. Alright, and now we're going to lay into him again. Again, trying to deflect it with our shields. As best we can. And we did it! We brought down a frigate, ladies and gentlemen. What? Look at that. That was awesome. Okay. So as bad as we did in the previous dealie, I think that more than made up for it. So hopefully you guys agree. Ugh. And hopefully you guys are enjoying this because that that ended up really, 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 really advantageous to us. We're going to head on over to this next thing and we're going to give it a shot. I actually didn't know what was going to happen when we crashed and burned earlier, guys. I thought maybe that would have ended it or we would have reloaded. Though I don't know exactly how you can make like different save points because I would love to go episode by episode and save. That way if something happens, oftentimes I do have interruptions, you guys know this. So if you've been around the channel for any length of time that is. So it would be kind of nice to, well, be able to stop it if need be. Looks like they fell for it. Oh let's boy. Alright, I probably shouldn't have done that, but let's uh let's pulse it out. And we're up against some gunships and all sorts of various things like that. Alright. Wow, our shields got tore to shreds immediately. Real, real quick. Come on, Garrus, you should already been attacking, buddy. Take him out, man. Get at least one of these guys down before we have to do some sort of weird maneuvers. Oh, good. Yeah, we got them both. Nice. Okay, he's down. And now all we gotta do is get the uh, retaliator. Alright, I'm gonna try going broadsides on him. I think that might actually be a pretty decent play here. Because he's staying within a certain distance of us. Alright, I'm gonna switch back over to our uh, scatter turret. And we should be able to bring him down pretty easy. So, uh, your little ambush plan really didn't do a tremendously huge amount of work against us. Did we, we got a negative bounty? Oh. Ooh, nuts and bolts. That sounds like something we can actually sell. Probably not for a whole tremendously huge amount, but it's probably something we can sell. Alright, let's get on yeah. to... Oops, sorry guys. Uh, button, Broad this button. Alright, and can we boost? We can warp? Let's go! Lots of stuff going on, guys. This game is... Pretty intense. Now, a lot of people say they are uh, going the route of the traitor. They're, they don't feel like they're amazing uh, combative people. Okay. Threat level yellow. I can see this being a thing. Alright, the scatter turret is out. The damage is real. The rift jacker looks like he's going down, and indeed he did. I'm hoping we can take him out, but it doesn't look like that's quite the play yet. 
Target locked. Come on, lock on them. There it is. All right, so there's a lot of little fighters here. That's what we're up against right now. Just a ton of little fighters. It's going to be annoying and just kind of pester me with a lot of, well, a lot of pain and suffering. Stay on them. Stay on them. Get it. Get them. There it is. All right. My goodness, could you imagine being out in space and all this crap is happening all the time? Oh my goodness, this would be so stressful. You're like, I don't even want to go out in space. Can't we just be on planets again? What is the deal? Why is this a thing? All right. Well, this dude is severely like, hey, I can kill this guy right now. No, you can't, buddy. No, you can't. You guys may have done some little uh, pick and grinning stuff here, but yeah, you didn't take me out. Is that it? I think that's it. Shouldn't say threat level blue or something by now. Well, I guess it doesn't even care. It's like whatevs. Ain't even my. This ain't even my whole night. It's fine. Yeah, I actually kind of want to take a look at our ship again real quick. Hopefully, you guys don't mind. Our ship is barely damaged. A little bit on the hull plating, but that's about it. So we're looking pretty good with the Rasputin. It's banged up. It's kind of shoddy, but it works. It does work, and we can handle this. All right, I don't know about this mission, but we're going to hope we can handle an average risk mission. Yeah, I see that. No, we're not going to collide, man. We're going to collide. All right. Let's pulse it out and see what's out here. And it looks like just a couple of miners. And I don't mean, uh, like, people that are underage. Alright, what am I supposed to be doing here? Full stop. Do enemy I hail them? Inbound. Oh, enemy craft inbound. Okay. Well, maybe we should get the Engine pulse out. To engage. Oh, man, they're coming from all over the place. Alright, well, we're gonna go right at this one right here. This is gonna be the one that we go for. Take him down, take him down before he flips over past you. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Quite enough. We're not done yet. Alright, down he goes. Next up, who's next? You're next, sir? Okay. Hopefully we can catch up to him. Use a little bit of our boosty stuff there. Alright, now we're going to catch up here. And we're going to take him down as we maneuver around. And he should be done. Okay. Next up is you, good sir. You want to be a rude person to the miners out here? I think we can totally handle you. Alright, what's left? Imagine there's a couple that are still remaining. Alright, we gotta get over there and help them out. Hurry up, Garrus. The miners are having a bad day. I got the hand. It's coming. The hand's coming. Be aware that the hand is here. Yeah. What? Ooh, we just got a bunch of money. That is pretty nice. Alright, I'm assuming at some point we can mine too and gather up resources, which sounds like a pretty cool idea or feature. Alright folks, I think I'm going to break it off right here. Hopefully you guys had fun. I realized, guys, I blew it up. I destroyed the ship. I kind of failed. But I still had a blast doing it, and I don't know. Hopefully you guys had a lot of fun with it as well. And apparently it's not the end-all be-all if you fail a mission, I guess. So, well, there is that. I'll catch you next time with more Rebel Galaxy. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.